Hey guys, welcome to this video on body, chest and head overlap. Um, this is important because it helps sell uh, weight first of all and it helps break up the pieces of your body of your character or your creature that you're working on um, because that's real life nothing is kind of locked together we all move in in pieces in joints um, the way we react the way we're thinking and our thought process leads how our body kind of breaks up in action but when it comes to just action um, it's always I break it up into center of gravity hips chest and head um, pieces and then you go from things like it leads to arms shoulders elbows wrists and then you know knees and feet I'm gonna start with this Zootopia fella and you can see here there's a lot of over uh, nice overlap which is very it's very nicely done very exaggerated but it really gets the message across So you can see that he swings around. And when he swings around his he's leading with his hips. And you can see his chest here. Let's see how it kind of because he's swinging this way, translating screen left and rotating around it would drag it would overlap his chest this way and then as it his hips move this way his chest overlaps slightly this way screen right swings back a bit this way screen left it kind of comes back in so it's essentially like a you know the leaf blowing in the wind the grass blowing in the wind I always think of that overlap or a tail for example it would just be broken into say three joints and it always the tip would, um, would always be the last to overlap so it's driven by the it's driven by the end so this is the driving so this will be one two three as you can see here, the overlap is driven by one, which creates number two to follow, and then three will follow two. Which is why the tip here, the one, settles last. It's swinging around. But back to the head, because the hips have led the chest. Now the the chest is following. So if the chest is rotating, screen left. The head will be rotating down and screen left. And because the body, the cog, is 
getting the screen right. The head would be moving, it would still be rotated down from the chest, it's reacting to the chest. But it's also reacting from the hips. Let's drive the head, obviously it's going to follow screen right, which forces the head to overlap, rotate down, so the nose would come down. But here as he catches up, his nose rises and his head's rotating screen right now for weight and then it's still overlapping, you can see the nose still rotating screen left and the nose is rising for the overlap. And rotates that way as the body goes screen right. So you can feel that nice breakup of hips, chest, and head. So you can see it now. It's very obvious with the circles in there and the arrows. It feels nice and weighty. And here's Will Smith doing it. Breaking up his hips, chest and head, obviously he's just performing but you can see as his hips move forward, screen left. His performance here would drag his chest back, rotating it up, and then his head rotates back. And then as he moves up here, This was his breakup. As his hips move forward this way, screen left, his chest comes up, which overlaps the head. His hips are coming back for that weight shift. As he gets more upright in the stance, and his head straightens up. A nice, some nice break up there. I'm going to show you another Zootopia example. So can you see how the the hips kind of breathe up, the chest, shoulders go up, and the nose and the head go up, and then they follow down as he breathes out his hips kind of come down so his hips start low and 
then there's that coming down here which drags everything else So hips up, chest up. And then the shoulders come down. The shoulders help add to that weight. So here, the shoulders go up. Hips go up. The chest is still kind of rotated down, but it starts to translate up with everything. Here you'd have a rotation up as everything comes down. And then you would look at the head. So the nose really, for example. All rotating up after the chest and then when everything comes down the nose remains high just for a second for a frame or two waits for everything to come down and then it starts heading down and then as the hips go back up still overlapping down and then rotates up so if you just offset chest and nose just by one or two frames each you get that nice overlap which then feels pretty weighty which is nice and you can also see it in this example pretty energetic so his hips obviously had a dragon force here and then you can really see it in the nose for example Heads pointing down. Then his head's pointing up. Oh, turn this off. So when he when his hips go up, when he pushes up, his head would rotate down is it a force and his chest as well would be down but then when the the hips are high when there's no more force coming up when it's starting to level out gravity kicks in the chest will be even out the nose would be higher down hips are down that's when the chest would rotate up a bit the head rotate up a bit that's the eyes I'm gonna just drag an example you can see the nice obvious breakup the nice overlaps uh, right now it's all driven by the chest and the wings so you can see you would 
animate the chest first as it goes up and down you just get the nice up and down and that would overlap things like the the legs here and the feet and then the tail so let's have a quick look at that so you look at the bottom of the chest here Here up and down. And this drives everything else. So So when you go down Pushes an in. Which causes this uh, bottom leg bone to, to go up. And then when the body drives up, that's when the leg strains out because the force is all this way going up and all the, the foot and everything is just overlapping as it comes up and then when the body comes back down the leg wants to go up see it in the tail as well body's going down tip of the tail is last so it goes up the main base tail is connected to the main driving force so that's going to go down first down down tail up And then as the tail catches up to come down, the whole body and the base is going up, going up, base is going up, and then the tail is pushed down. So you get this nice line. Goes up, tail up, and this nice curve here. So you see how it works with uh, overlap and the weight it creates. So okay, one more. So Bruce Lee here. We're gonna look at the stunt man that is beating up the henchman. Just wanted to show you his hips his chest and then his head and you see like his chest is kind of leaning forward and that break up and then you see here because the hips are coming out this way and then the chest suddenly pulled back this way his head is rotated forward so all the force now is getting pulled this way and then as 
because his head goes out. The frame rate's different, I think, so we lose some frames, but there would be more. There'd be more drag. As the force is pulled this way, there'd be more uh, head rotation down, in my opinion. So you get a nice line. See it here again. Again, hips, chest, head, hips again, screen right. Oh, now to go screen left. up and screen left it's all pretty tight in this one there's less exaggeration but it's probably more in the, the pose as it all goes in <coughs> excuse me Is an example of what it feels like when you don't have use of your your hips yet, your chest and your head. So everything feels stiff. So right now, the kick just comes from. There's no like the kick just comes from this joint. There's no hip swing. There's no chest counterbalance that swings in which would then bring the arm up and then there's no like lean into there's no confidence in the kick and you can see the way she moves her hips it's just right to the left and like everything is just stiff it's just a box Even a punch is a slight twist, but it's all just this one cylinder that moves and it doesn't feel like it'd be powerful or natural. It's very cute though, but it's not gonna work when you're you know in a real fight. This looks kinda painful, but you can see here no hip movement. Just the cylinder, giant can, just kicking. And that's because of no um, hip, chest, or head breakup. I'm gonna quickly show you some quadruped now. Just some looseness and some breakup there. very cute you can see the break up here it's uh, as the head comes up it's, um, they're just very they're very agile in this sense it's very cool to watch you can see 
the chest, hips, and the head. I'll break it up the same way. And the way it just moves down. And then the chest comes up and the head. See here this mass at the top locks in and then the legs the hips they kind of roll over so, and this creates a nice weight that shape change you can see it's very nice nice break up there it makes it feel like it's very heavy uh, another example here again I just like the, the break up of the overlap so from this pose the scared pose the hips hit the ground so these legs can push off this way because he's scared and then you see like the curve this line the curve is pushes from this way the spine curve is goes this way The hips land here, the weight. Makes another snow leopard jump. It's pretty neat. Again, the break up. hips, chest, head and it all kind of pushes in the spine compresses got all the forces going up and then you get that nice overlap that squish up that energy it's all going up <laughs> and just uh, quadruped again walking on terrain you can see the breakup here the head kind of leads Yes, and then you get your hips a bit down. These are going chest, head going up, chest, head going up as the head, uh, as the hips fall behind.
the back hips again are just falling behind. As the weights on the front shoulders or the front paws and the shoulders. So the weight again will be about to be put on the front paws. You can feel this push in the shoulder blade. Yeah, let that help.